All right, here we are in a beautiful Phoenix, Arizona day, looking at a very cool 1944 two-door sedan. We're going to walk around and tell you about it like we usually do, but very, very cool. Nice hot rod history on this one. Uh, we were able to, there's a file here that's go, that goes with the car that we, did, we were able to go through, and we're going to take it back to the office and dig in a little bit deeper on it to cover some of the components. But we were able to call somebody that we know as a client and cover the history of the car some and back up the story that I have here in my hand. This car spent about 37 years before it was actually first retailed at a, at a Kansas dealership. 49,000 actual miles on it. The interior is all original in it. It has the plastic covers on it. A good portion of the paint of this car is all original. We've studied it, went around it. It's probably had a fender touch up here and there, or maybe fenders finished at one time. But it has great character, age and patina. You can tell the glass here as we cruise around. The glass is all, uh, has the Ford markings on it, and you can see the separations in it, that type of thing. The body's wonderfully straight. We've had it up on the lift. The floor pans are all original in this car, and all the sheet metal's original trim that type of thing very neat little retro rod style upgrades underneath the hood the gentleman that we know we called and his titles in the file or a copy of his title owned it in the early 2000s and it had about 41,000 actual miles on it we covered the paint history with him that kind of thing you can pick it for a, a little bit of a ding here that kind of thing it just has just cool character put it that way underneath the hood is a very very cool retro rod powertrain it's got an art christman belt legendary art christmas built flathead v8 french block 276 cubic inch it has uh, tony baron heads it has a bill jenks uh camshaft built to christmas specs it's a very rare 1950s camden blower dual stromberg carburetors factory three speed start uh transmission three on the tree columbia two speed rear axle in the back Again, there's no way I can cover everything as we go around here. Obviously, it's been lowered, dropped up front, dropped axle. It has a uh, mono leaf spring with stabilizer bar and a pan hard bar up front here. Has Fenton chrome Fenton headers on it with little lake style cutouts here that you can take the caps off if you wish to. The running boards and all the fenders are believed to be original to this car. lot to talk around talk about as we cruise around here and I try and cram it all in my head I've been here three hours so uh, you'll see the character on the glass but I was able to verify a lot of the history on the car while I was standing here today and that's why I spent about three hours with the car studied it enjoyed it you'll see that the original interior is in this car like we spoke about it's a 1940 two-door standard so a two-door standard would not have a passenger side visor here the Briarwood uh, brown dash is beautiful on this thing. It's not been restored. If you open it up, you'll see the colors faded a little bit from its factory. You'll see the, if you smell it, <laughs> when you smell it, the smell of it smells like a nice old car with it's got the plastic on the seats. This has all been on it since it was new. The original carpets in the car. Fun doing cars like this. Original headliner. has uh, 15 inch Ventique wheels with uh, deluxe style wheel trim on it. 37 wheel, or excuse me, 40 wheels would have been different. They'd have been 16s. These are 15s. Again, you could pick it for a little door ding here and there or a minor touch up as you look at it, but the car's just beautiful from a very short distance away and the body's wonderful. So really, truly a retro rod, Columbia two-speed in the back, like we talked about, upgraded gas shocks, uh, Traverse spring in the back, multi-leaf spring in the back here. Really, I'd call this car part of SoCal history, Southwest history, uh, Arizona plate here. Raises up here, cover the trunk here for you while I'm back here. I have a sheet in my hand, but I'm doing a lot of this from uh, memory. Has a very cool, you notice that standard only had one tail light in the back over here on the left hand side or a brake light, running light, brake light. This is an accessory. 
double S corp turn signal style brake light assembly vintage has a flying J uh, flying a gasoline cooler back here that's actually where the battery is in the back little picnic basket this uh, tire is spare and original to the car is an original spare to the car but put it that way it's you'll see the tool wells back here it's got little tools in the back there's absolutely no rust we've had it up on the lift already you'll see this is the original trunk mat just go ahead and leave the deck lit up while we're here since we've already walked around and you kind of get a feel for it again not perfect not new but great character you wouldn't want to change a thing on the exterior of this car or the interior really you just want to enjoy this vintage style hot rod thick file that goes with it good history there's a uh, we'll walk over here have a little uh, sheet here that's included with it they called this the sleeping beauty 1944 two-door uh, cool history as we get inside here again original you'll see the original garnish moldings and finish the faux wood finish on it has a trico air conditioning fan there so to speak flashlight underneath the dash 40 standard steering wheel 49,750 actual miles. Everything that we're telling you is believed to be true or reportedly true, but we've spent time studying this car. So you'll see the boost gauge down here and the under dash gauges. Fires right up. There's a trick, trick to the sequence on it. This one, there's a battery underneath, uh, a battery shut off underneath the seat over here turn this on turns your electric fuel pump on the steering column still locks nothing's been modified there it's got three on the tree there's a switch down here underneath the dash that you need to pull back to turn on and then you just hit the start button it starts right up just like that all the gauges appear to be working temp gauge we've been running a little while Oil gauge is working, battery gauge is working. Of course, you're going to see the same thing here, down here. Kick the idle down a little bit there. These look like two reproduction knobs, and this is original. That's the uh, cigarette lighter cover is what that is. Anyway, it's got a moon, our, um, moon tack here connected. Emergency brake does work. Door jam to door jam. This is original paint. There are no paint lines in the door jams here. Let you hear it run. Make sure you watch the end of the video and go to spudsgarage.com where I'll get into more detail with some of the specs on it. Thanks for listening. All right, very cool. We thought we'd get you underneath the hood here. Told you we were going to share something special to get underneath the hood. Blown flathead V8, built by the legendary Art Chrisman. Very, very special. A lot of components. There's records in the file that covers everything for it, and a lot of the components that were purchased. We'll have a video clip of us covering the basics of that file, and it is included with the car, so it brings up some nice stuff. It's a uh, French block, built on a French block basis. It has, uh, the block itself has all been smoothed to a show finish and early Ford engine style paint. It's a 276 cubic inch, 275 horsepower blown flathead V8 with dual Stromberg 97s on it. It has Tony Barron heads. Bill Jenks 3 8 cam, ground to Christmas specs. This is an alternator in a generator housing with a polished housing there. It has a billet distributor up front here. But a lot of the details in the file, we, we scanned over a few of them and took photos for you. Mainly the history stuff, that type of thing. You'll see how it's all finished off here, beautifully done. It has a uh, Columbia two-speed axle in the back, has disc brakes up front. We already talked about that during the walk around. 
has a three-speed manual transmission and it's also finished in the same color with a smooth trans we'll actually get this up on the lift here for you you'll see a fuel pressure regulator down here electric fuel pump these cylinder heads are just awesome with the cooling tubes here up to the top we're going to find out as much history as we can and we'll get more details when we go to spud's garage This Gear Lord's plaque does not go with the car. The owners are going to keep that, the Suns. Kind of give you a feel here up front here. The tires on it have been, the car's not been driven a lot since it was uh, retro rotted, so to speak, in the early 2000s. Date code on the tires are 01. They're American Classic Radials. There are two uh, 195 75 R15 up front. Lake style cutouts can take off to give a little bit of header sound to it. Catch the bottom side of the body. American Classics on the back are 225, 75 R15. Just a beautiful original body on this car. We covered talking about the paint and stuff as we did the walk around, so we'll leave it at there. Bumperettes on the back here. We know the fenders have been refinished and We're actually doing this before we do the walk around and talk about the car. So we're going to repeat ourselves maybe a little bit here, but uh, very nicely done retro rod with known history. Uh, reportedly just under 50,000 actual miles on it. And then it was hot rodded, uh, right? Just over 40,000. They did a lot of early style hot rod stuff. So I'm going to call it a retro rod. Very, very cool. A lot of special stuff done, a lot of build stuff done. A lot of SoCal guys were involved with this car or have been involved with its history. Uh, Art Christman built the motor and we talked about that again, repeating myself. Uh, Columbia two-speed axle in the back here. I like the way they finished everything in retro red. Uh, Ford red engine color basically is what that is. It has a, a multi-leaf uh, rear uh, traverse spring on it with a gator wrap on it has uh electric fuel pump fuel filters back here nice finish on it, it has uh back here is kind of some neat items they've uh installed a vacuum assist pump because there's not a lot of vacuum from the engine that has two reservoir tanks for vacuum that will assist the power brakes on it and assist the switching of the uh columbia two-speed in the back here floor pans Again, as we mentioned during the walk around, we'll leave just under 50,000 miles. Um, very, very rock solid car. Appears to be all original floor pans. Nice little uh, mechanical updates. Magnaflow, ex dual Magnaflow exhaust with chrome Fenton headers. We'll get up front here. Runs through the frame, up over the axles, so it's nicely done. Tell a lot of pros were involved with this car. Original Bones has the uh, master cylinder here and of course the treadle vac style vac brake assist. Has cap, of, uh, you can take the caps off the pipes here. It's got some lake style exits out the side. Three speed, three on the tree transmission has been smoothed and so is the uh, Art Christman built flathead V8. It's been smoothed and painted. Nicely detailed. These are Fenton headers that have been chrome plated. Has a uh, mini high torque starter on it. These are early SoCal uh, disc brake upgrade for these cars. Has fin scoops or aluminum backing plates. Very neat. They've added a pan hard bar here to the factory cross steer. See it up there on the frame. It is the original chassis, uh, V860 chassis actually. We talked about that during the walk around too, I believe. I'm gonna move this jack back. Get it out of the way so I can cover the front here. Up front will give you a pretty good feel. Here's the uh, 
early disc style brakes with the air vents on them or the cooling vents has a stabilizer bar up front here that they've installed has a mono leaf spring with gas shock upgrade a little bit better look at the detail look at the side of the block here all smooth and painted of course we've already listened to me cover the engine from the top side this is the last part of the video one more look as we pass through here